Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. A ceasefire deal has been reached between Israel and the Palestinians after 10 days of fighting. A senior Hamas official says the pause will take effect this morning. At least 232 people in Gaza and 12 in Israel have been killed. Ignacio Cesares from the International Red Cross says they'll be able to bring in humanitarian support. Aid in terms of medicine, drugs, medical devices, etc. It has to do also with fuel. If I had to use one word to describe the situation for the civilian population in Gaza, it would be fear. An inquiry has found BBC journalist Martin Bashir secured his world-exclusive interview with Princess Diana in 1995 by forging bank statements. The interview included Diana sharing intimate details about her marriage to Prince Charles. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. The forged bank statements convinced Diana that the members of the royal household were taking payments to give info to the Secret Service and that she was being spied on. Martin Killick was a senior producer on the program. It's an explosive report, isn't it? It clearly shows that Martin Bashir was dishonest and the BBC subsequent investigation was incompetent. Martin Bashir has since apologised but maintains he would have been chosen for the interview anyway. The Australian Medical Association has stepped up calls for a major advertising campaign to encourage Australians to get vaccinated. Dr Chris Moy from the AMA is urging over 50s not to wait for an alternative to the AstraZeneca vaccine. We're seeing what the world is like and we are essentially sitting ducks at the moment and if there's an outbreak then we have a serious risk and then we'll be coming from behind and it's very difficult to catch up at that point. Meantime, Canberra is moving to shore up our vaccine supply here in Australia. The federal government pushing for a high-tech facility to be established and used to make Pfizer and Moderna COVID jabs. Companies have two months to submit proposals. And Aldi has hired hundreds of security guards ahead of its popular ski sale tomorrow. The supermarket chain says there'll be zero tolerance for shoppers who abuse staff or other customers while trying to get a bargain. Scores will stagger entry in groups of 50. Aldi says it has plenty of stock across its 570 stores. To sport in the NRL, North Queensland's overcome two sin bins to beat Newcastle 36-20 in Townsville. Tonight, the Warriors play the West Tigers, the Sharks play the Dragons. In AFL, GWS has named Josh Kelly as captain for Sunday's showdown with West Coast at Giant Stadium. The Demons have dropped Ben Brown for tomorrow's clash with the Crows. Meanwhile, Richmond has made just one change for tonight's game against the Lions at the Gabba. And in the A-League, the Newcastle Jets are at home to Brisbane Raw tonight. In entertainment news, Disney has announced the sequel to Hocus Pocus will premiere on Disney Plus next year. Original stars Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy Najimy will all reprise their roles as the Sanderson sisters. Angelina Jolie says she didn't shower for three days before she posed for a shoot for World Bee Day. The portrait was taken for National Geographic and shows the actress covered in bees. And Prince William has had his first COVID jab. The 38-year-old shared a pic on Instagram, paying tribute to all those on the front line in the UK. That's your latest from the Nova Podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. 